So after you've created the space on the court, you're then looking for a shot off your opponent that you can do whatever you want to do off that shot. So for me, it's about creating the space on the court so that I can then play a shot that I feel is a strength of mine or it's a part of my brand that I want to implement when I'm playing with my opponent. So an example of that from my game particularly is trying to create an opening with the forehand boast. I love to play my forehand boast. The two wall boast, especially on the new 17 inch tin for the women has such a real effect of dragging the opponent up the court. And you know, off the back of that, it can then affect my movement. So we'll feel each other out a little bit down the forehand wall. And as soon as I feel that there's an opportunity where either my opponent is, is waiting for the next forehand drive or they've given me a little bit more space off the back wall to be able to show a couple of options. That's when I think the right time to whip in the two wall boast is. Hopefully they don't see it and it's an outright winner, but if they do see it, it's a case of pushing up behind them really quickly, knowing that that two wall boast has dragged them so high up the court that they only have a couple of responses from that shot. Ideally, you're looking for the lob where you can then get up and, and pull them again into space, deep into the court, or they may be looking for a counter drop if they're at full stretch, it's going to be quite difficult. So you're looking to get up behind them and get onto that next ball quite quickly as well. And similarly, also when players trying to instill their brand on top of you, it's a case of really trying to make sure that you create that space back off a defensive position. So if you are responding with a lob it's about making sure you get really nice and low getting up over their head and really finding that space in the back of the court and obviously it really affects your movement with how you can close the court down if you hit that target because from a defensive position with the lob you can turn that into an attacking position to get it up and over their head into that space and then really close down the angle that they've then got to hit down that forehand or backhand wall with the position of your tee so I think this constructing of the rally and really thinking about the options that your opponent has on the back of a certain shot that you played can almost keep you one step ahead of, of them when you're playing in a match.